This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and today is Sunday, and I am going to work on a letter bundle journal. Now, I'm following along with the letter box that Rosemary Morris is doing. She's calling it a box. I'm going to use her concept and do my own thing with it. I love what she did. And I want to alter it just a bit for myself. Yeah. So what I've done is I followed her idea of taking envelopes. And I have the larger uh, A7 size, I believe it is, envelope. They're 8.7.75. And she cuts a piece of cardboard and puts inside to give it some bulk. And then I decorated mine on the back. I stamped mine with a Tim Holtz ledger stamp. So now what I want to do is decorate the front. And she did hers with like postage stamps. And she did kind of simulated old envelopes until she got to the top one. I have some project paper. Uh, Die with the View uh, project paper. Uh, well, let me get it out here. I think it's die cuts with a view. I have two kinds. I have um, just a regular text paper with writing on it. And I have some postcard paper. Now, this is either die cuts with a view or Park Lane. And to tell you the truth, I think it's one or two of each. This happens to be Park Lane. This is postcard paper, which I think this is cool. I might use some of that, especially in my journal for September. And this is kind of neat because this happened right at the time that I want to do the September art journal is going to be themed postcards. And I might throw letters in there, too. I might make it and or letters. So what I'm going to do now, I've already played with cutting a niche. I'm going to, the way I'm going to alter it is she cuts a niche out of hers and she tilts her pages so that they're in a stack that looks something like this, different ways. And then she has her niche cut in there. And uh, I haven't cut my niches yet. I'm decorating my paper. I did cut the niche on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this paper down. What I'm debating about is do I want to tear this at the edge? And I think maybe I do, but I don't know because I've already cut it. Can I tear it just a little? I don't know. We'll see. If it works, I'll use it. <laughs> if it doesn't work, well, oops. <laughs> Let's flatten it out with my palette knife here. Get a little crease in it. It doesn't matter if it's not torn straight because that's not the object. The object is to get a torn edge. You can also wet a needle and do the same concept and uh, run a needle down, a wet needle put paper on your uh, water on your paper and run a needle down the edge that will tear paper too especially if you're working with a tissue paper or a thin book paper or something like that now I don't care if this is not torn straight um I should have torn it to begin with, but I cut it off of a big roll, so I was just cutting it straight. You know, and I kind of like it torn crooked like this. I was telling Rosemary as she was stacking up her her niches in her in her envelopes, I was saying, but you can you can put washi tape in there and make it look nice and even. And she says, I kind of like the distressed edges. So, all right, I do too. <laughs> Tanya knows that about me very well, that, that I'm very, very much a distressed, torn edge, very rough paper. 
I'm not one to go for nice, neat, straight edges. However, this is tearing really, really slow. So I'll have to take my time with this. I'll probably do one and close out this video. This will probably be a really short video just to show you what I'm doing. And then I'll probably come back and, and work on the rest of them because there are 12 of these. 12 that I need to decorate the fronts on. Now, this has already been cut. The niche has already been cut on this side because I was testing it. So I'm going to put my glue on here and I am using Yes Paste. And I'm just going to put it around here. And don't judge me that I'm using my palette knife. That's what I like to spread my yes face with. I get so many comments saying, why aren't you using your credit card? Why aren't you using a gift card? Why aren't you using this? Why aren't you using that? And it's because, because I like to use my palette knife. That's why. <laughs> I I don't know. I just, I, I like the flexibility of it. I like this big wide one to do this with. So let's go ahead and do this part. And I really kind of want this postmark. I'll be coming back. I kind of want that to show a little. And you'll see what I mean later on. And I'll be putting postage stamps, I believe, on this too. I want the text to show on here. Now... I'm not going to glue this part down yet. I'll come back and handle the back separately. Uh, I am debating what I want to do with this part here. I think I know, but we'll see. So I just want to glue down. I want to glue down this part here. And I am using Yes Paste on this. I, I like it on paper projects like this when I'm actually making a journal. And this, she is making a box. I think I'm going to make a journal. I think I'm going for the journal. And you'll see why as I progress through my videos. I don't want to bore you with 12 of these. So I may do this one and another envelope and then close out this video just to, so you can see that I am decorating my envelopes here. So there we go. There is the front of this one. So now let's do one that does not have the cut in it. Let's do one like this. And let's get out another piece of, I, I have cut 12 well, see, I have postmarks here, too. I cut 12 of these to fit this paper almost. But I, I think I'm just going to tear it like this. I hate tearing that postmark, but oh, well. That's the way it goes. And I already have sticky fingers. Maybe if I don't watch while I'm tearing it, it won't feel so bad. <laughs> so I just want you to see what I'm doing and then I'll go ahead and finish off the other 10 of them and then continue on in another video. See, my hands are already sticky. <laughs> so it's the palette knife, by the way. <laughs> and I want this to be torn. I want it to look aged and torn. And that is what is happening here. it never wants to tear the way you want it to tear, does it? Yeah. Like 
this maybe. I love the postmarks on there. And I may come in with more and some postage stamps. But let's go ahead and now on this one, I'm actually going to put my glue on this because I don't want the edges to be glued. And that's what I'll do on all the rest of them. glue down here. Now, since I've got a messy wax paper here with glue out on the edges, I don't want to put my envelope down there, so I'm going to fold this over and put my envelope here. And let's just put this down here. And this is where you could have a, I don't have one out, so I'm going to use this cardboard to get the air bubbles out. This is just the back of a, this is not what I put in the envelope, but this is just a piece I cut to when I was experimenting. All right. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I've got 10 more of these to do. So just a really short video to show you where I'm progressing. And yeah, I'll be back when I'm ready for the next step. I got glue on the edges here. I didn't mean to do that. I'll have to take care of that. So... I will see you in the next video.